Hey, what's up, everybody? And welcome to Renegade Radio, episode number five of season three of the show. And I'm your host with the most, Frankie Slauson. And welcome to the special uh, pre show. And uh, this is something that we do pretty much every time I do the show now. Uh, this is the part that doesn't go live on uh, Mondays when we do our live Monday show, but uh, everybody that's on the Grand Forks Best Source uh, website or watch it on YouTube or whatever uh, gets to see the full episode from start to finish. So this is kind of like the bonus stuff, we'll say. You know. <clears throat> Remember bonus material? <laughs> well, my people should be, uh, my people, I sound like I'm you know, Moses now. My crew should be uh, coming in here soon, but uh, I want to take this opportunity to thank uh, all of you uh, people for t uh, tuning in. Uh, you don't know much about me, but we're learning, I'm sure, about each other uh, as much as you can. Or you're learning about the show uh, as much as you can. And if you're a fan of the show and you are looking to get some exposure that uh, if you need a, well, if you're somebody who's in the entertainment industry and wants to be interviewed and is uh, doing something cool in that industry, uh, let me know. Private message me. Uh, my email address, frankieaces at gmail.com, will be in the description below uh, below this video here. Uh, please uh, give give me a, a holler. And let's, let's, uh, let's make you famous, as they say. Huh? I'd love to do that. I feel like it's my way of giving back, you know. Well, we got Mad Dog over here. First one to set sail. <laughs> Howdy, y'all. Howdy. If I had a cowboy hat, I'd, I'd wear a suit, or salute you too. Then. <laughs> yes. I, wear, I got this this weekend. It's my new cowboy hat. Wow. Mad Dog going cowboy now or what? No, I just, I got it at a flea market. And the lady said it was her luck, her husband's lucky hat, but he died in it. So I don't know how lucky he was, but. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Well, I guess we'll find out. Huh? We'll, we'll yeah, long, we'll see how long you. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, who knows? I mean, you never, you never know what what could happen. You know, when it comes to that sort of thing. I like it. I wore it all weekend. I didn't take it off once. Wow. Did I have to go sleep. Did I have to sleep on bed. Not you slept in the cowboy hat. It's yeah, too. You... I should say. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like a real cowboy then, you know. Actually, I think. I think uh, what's we call it? Uh, cowboys when they were asleep, I think they probably they just have it like halfway covered or whatever. I think I don't know. I don't know how they could sleep with one of these. This damn thing's so hard, give me a headache. This thing about John Wayne every time he did a western out in the hot sun. You know? <laughs> these things, this thing's a real job, man. It's Stetson. It hurts. Well, then why are you wearing? Why are you wearing it if it hurts? So? <laughs> Should just wear it for comfort, not for. Look, that's, it looks like head disappeared. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's just uh, that's just the green screen part of everything. Well, I'm glad that you're glad that you're doing all right and everything. And you know, it's just another yeah. this is our well, wait for the weekend. Our last show of uh or July anyway. Uh and then we'll be here for August. I kinda have a kind of a, a plan of how we're gonna you know, when it comes to like when we get like a little break times or whatever. I figure we do it like in, in spurts, kind of where we go two months and then we take a break, you know, uh, one week off after that. And then we go up until another two months, and then we take another week off, and then we go till Christmas again. I mean, that way we're, you know, we'll get at least a couple weeks off in between. It'd be like the first week of September and then probably the first or second week of November, kind of like we did last time. Yeah. You know? oh. Cause yeah, that'd every, be nice. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, even if you don't got anything going on, I mean, I don't know. Do you hunt at all? I mean, what, during hunting season, or is there a hunting season in, in Philadelphia or in Pittsburgh? Yeah. Pittsburgh. Okay. Right after Thanksgiving. Oh, right after Thanksgiving. Okay. See, yeah. for us in Minnesota, they do it right after during Halloween. Yeah. Or it's like after Halloween or whatever they do it. Yeah. So. I don't know, but I don't hunt, so I don't really, you know, not too worried about. It. I was just wondering, you know, because that's around that's around hunting season anyway, and the first weekend would probably be around Labor Day weekend. 
So, because I'm thinking about maybe going to uh, the end of August here. Oh, I'm thinking about going to the uh, what's it called the uh, AEW thing here. Uh, did he disappear? He must have. Uh, that's the same thing you get on the live show, everybody. You just never know what's going to happen. <laughs> I think he might press press a button or something. But well, anyway, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been tuning in. Uh, it's it's uh, it's been a lot of fun you doing this show. We're coming up on to our one year anniversary show here pretty soon, which will be exciting, and I'm really looking forward to that. So what I want to do while we're while, until we get everybody here, <clears throat> I want to kind of. Uh, since this is the pre-show, I wanted to kind of share my screen with everybody here, or at least share, let's see, share, okay, do that here. I wanted to share the screen, but let's see, I'm trying to figure out something else here, too. Okay, this is what I wanted. Share sound. And we'll do that one. Share Google. Okay. I was trying to do this last week, you know, but everybody was kind of, you know, talking in between and stuff. So what I wanted to do uh, was I was going to share this, share my screen. And you see my Facebook and everything. Uh, let's see. I want to show you some of the stuff that I've been up to. You know, like I'm on, I'm on the TikTok, you know. And I wanted to show you guys my, oh, here. I wanted to show you my TikTok page here. Uh, just uh, let you every, know. Every uh, time somebody calls me, you lose me. Oh, is that what happened? You, you yeah, so you? Old. Now, can you see my page at all? Can you see everything that's scrolled down? Yeah, I see what you're showing now. Okay. Because what I'm doing is, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, because this is the pre show, what I'm, I'm probably going to do this every time. We do the pre-show now until we go live because we're not live live yet. We're just recording for for Saturday's uh, live show, the big the big show on Best Source. I'm gonna show people kind of give them an idea of what I've been up to as far as my uh, uh, AI stuff and whatever else. So see there I go. Where am well, I at? I see I I see you right there, right right to you still wearing the hat and the. All and right. The, there's an Italian guy, Bruno San Martino, right behind you. Yes. I, yeah. I just want to make sure you can see my screen and, and, and hear it when I. Yeah. Your TikTok. I, okay. Yeah. I can't okay. Hey, what's going on yeah. here? Oh, <laughs> Antique man. Oh, hey. I think we're clapping. Oh, he's clapping. Nice to be here. Hello, yeah. everybody. That's good to see you. I'm trying to share my screen with everybody here before everybody got huh? here. Just, yeah, uh, okay. Can you turn down your audio at all? Because I hear you. I hear the audio. Over here. Oh, I can. Yeah, got rid of it. Okay. Because what I'm going to start doing now when we do the pre-show is just because we're not live live yet. We're just recording, you know, for the big show, even though we are going to be doing the show tonight or whatever, like scheduled. This is just extra stuff for Saturday for when we air the replay on Grand Fork Best Source. So I want to kind of show everybody kind of what I've been up to as far as my AI music, in case of nobody's been paying attention at all, uh, I just wanted to, <laughs> just wanted to kind of show them some stuff of what I've been up to. So I'm gonna play a track or two here just to get us warmed up here. Uh, I won't play stuff that's too long, but uh, I've been up to a few things. I've been trying to create some more great original music here. It seems like this track here, the macaroni, is better than ramen. Uh, so it kind of gets got the most airplay, it seems like. 460 views. Uh, I did a little thing about Greg Kinn, like a little tribute, because I'm, I'm, old, I'm old friends with Greg Kinn. He used to be on my show. He was on my radio show a couple times uh, back about 10 years ago. You know, the Greg Kinn band and all their... Yeah. The band? Yes, I do. Everybody? Yeah. Yes. Uh there was a guy that I was trying to get to to come on our show, uh, who's from your area, there, uh, Mad Dog, uh, from the Pittsburgh area, I believe. You know, a guy named Donnie Iris. Yeah, Donnie Iris, real good. Yeah, he was on my radio show about ten years ago too, about eleven years ago, and I tried to get him to book him for our one year anniversary show, but his agent wouldn't let allow it to happen. So, uh, tell 
Tell him Mad Dog's on there, man. Yeah, but he don't know you. And you know him personally? I know Donny Iris. Do you know him personally, though? Donny I mean, Iris and Cruisers, baby. Yeah, I know that, but you you know him personally. I mean, if he yeah, saw I you, met, he would right know I, you. I, I bodyguarded him. That's for a the personal day. question. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I, you know. <laughs> I did security for him for his 80th birthday. Okay, so he just turned... 81 not too long ago, I believe. Yeah, for his 80th birthday party, I, was, I did his security work. Oh, were they playing at the Smiling Moose, too? Hi, no, Mama. They played, they played the Hard Rock Cafe. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I tried to get him anyway, and he said I had to go through his management, and then his manager wouldn't allow it, so I don't know why. So I thought, boy, that'd be a lot of fun, especially for a one-year anniversary show coming up here. That'd be a lot of fun. So... Yeah, I was just going to try to show you guys. Uh, so I'll try not to crank the audio up too high. Hopefully it's not too loud for you. But I, I want to share a song. I haven't played anything yet. but uh, let, me see if, uh, let me see if I can get him. I, if you want him that bad. I, well, I, mean, get... I got his phone number and everything. I can send it to you. you know? I mean, it's, yeah, it's send, let me see what I can do. Okay, so... We had another friend of mine that passed away, but this was uh, from my local town of, of Greenbush here. His name was Slim Short. <clears throat> His funeral is on uh, Thursday, I believe. <clears throat> and uh, so I did a little song in tribute to him, so hopefully you guys can enjoy it and hear it and whatever. This is a couple minutes song. This was a little tribute. Slim Short in Greenbush That's the tulip home but this glorious man, I miss coming home, cooking up a storm, doing holy on and on. Only nights in his share, only memories to share. Only nights in the crew, dreams is off the blue. I'm here. I'm here. has a picture, that's all. Come on. Oh, swipe left on the screen there. And you'd be able to see see in here, everybody. I mean, Thank you don't you. hear us. Yeah, how's that for you? Then? <laughs> I'll try. I'll try one more song here. See if you know everybody can hear. And just give me a thumbs up or say that you can. Let's see. Okay. You hear yeah. Answer? Yeah, swiping left was the okay. answer. I'm sure there's no guest drops, right? I won't play the whole song. So 
anyway, that's kind of just I uh, just wanted to show you guys the TikTok of just a little bit of what I've been up to. You know, go check it out. The link's right on top here. TikTok at Frankie Slauson AI Music. You know, just just for fun. I mean, I know I got an article written about me and everything. I mean, these people, you know, think that I'm a music like a music writer now or something. I'm just like, oh boy. <laughs> Far from that, you know. Jeez. <laughs> I'm just doing it for fun, you know, but they, they were, right. I wasn't going to say no, you know, so I just thought, well, if you want to do something on me, I'll let you, you know, my, my claim for fame anyway. Yeah. Any, any publicity is good publicity. Yeah. yeah, I think so. So how's it going to everybody? How's it going, Sam? Good to see you. Everything good? Good to see you. Got a full everything good here. Everything? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good. All good. Uh, it's all you, good in the hood. Once John gets in here, Lance said he, he will be coming, or he should be coming anyway. Uh, he told me just to send the link anyway, just in case. So we'll see. But uh, I was getting the kind of an idea of, of, I told Anthony this a little bit, or Mad Dog a little bit about uh, what I, my plan is for the future as far as like our our, our break situation. As far as like, you know, when we get breaks or whatever, I figure let's go, let's do this in blocks where since we start in July, we'll go to the end of August and then we'll take like the Labor Day weekend or the first weekend of September off. And then we'll come back the next week and then we'll go until like Halloween, like we did last year, and then take a week or two off for hunting or whatever, and then come back and go till. Christmas or whatever. Oh, gosh. That's that. Okay. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know. I'm just, you know, I just figured that's the best oh, plan. Me. I, I get know. on on the 17th again, September 17th. Okay. Well, I figure, I mean, I mean, I don't know. Are, are you still going to be busy there, yeah. antique man, as far as teaching and stuff? Or are you still coming? Uh, I'm good with whatever you pick up. We start teaching on August 13th. Oh, so wow. my and I only do Monday through Thursday. Well, that's still four days a week, though. That's Otherwise, I'd wind up beating the shit out of somebody, <laughs> <laughs> taking a bite out of crime again. I tell you, holy moly! Yeah, that's some little kid, huh? <laughs> the, yeah, little, the little bastards, little yeah. bastards. Well, as, long as, as long as they all call you grandpa, I guess that's all that matters. <laughs> oh, that's been done. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just, yeah, that's what I figure. And uh, we're, I'm trying to plan some stuff now for our one year anniversary show because I, I want that show to be kind of big. I don't, you know, I don't have anybody in mind yet of who we could have, but if you guys have any ideas, you know, of, of somebody you think it would be cool to try to get, you know, I mean, for that. I mean, I'm probably going to do it in the studio just because we're all, you know, just because it's our year anniversary. And that'll be August 19th. So, Sam, mark your calendar there. <laughs> Because <laughs> that's a big deal. I mean, I we made it. We made it. What's the date? Already. August nineteenth. That's on a Monday. Okay. That's okay. The third Monday of uh, of August. So, because right now the only guest that I have for us right is is who we have tonight, and that's Stephen Taylor. He'll be uh, here about seven, and then uh, that's all I have gotten that's as far as i've gotten so far i haven't even planned for august yet but i'll you know we'll probably try to come up with something but if you guys have anybody that you think i mean eric or antique man i mean you could this could be your time to shine you can find somebody you know people in texas don't you mm -hmm. a, a few <laughs> i know i know i know one guy that owns a western wear store in dallas fort worth and he's uh, plays guitar himself, does some music, and he's had done events over the years with all kinds of musical stars. Okay, uh, uh, I'll think that over and talk yeah. about it with him. See, he could probably bring some interesting stories. Sure, I mean that's fine. I mean I don't at this point I don't even care. I mean I mean I, I mean I care, but I don't care that much. I mean if you own a yeah, Western yeah. store, that's still pretty cool. I mean. You know, why not? Yeah, no, but he's been with a lot of musicians across all genres. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Anyway, that he, he comes to mind. So it's kind of like what Steve Selton kind of did. He used to like do pro events or whatever. 
like concerts and whatnot. Huh? Uh, there's the another party? guy, another guy out of Sioux Falls who is president of the South Dakota Rock Hall of Fame, and they he lives in Sioux Falls, and he's probably got all kinds of stories about musicians, especially a lot from the Dakotas and Minnesota. Okay. So. Well, whatever. We'll give I mean, us, yeah, I'll give it some thought. Yeah, I mean, just let me try to let me know if if you know for sure that they'd be interested at least by Thursday or Friday. That way, if if we can't get nobody, I can try to find somebody before Monday's show again for next week. Yeah, that, yeah, okay, that might be a little soon, but well, whatever. I mean, just just yeah, you know, I'll, I'll think it over, you know, and see. I'm just throwing a ball on your on your way because I figure, well, you know. You haven't, you know, you've talked about some people that you thought would be good, but, uh, you know, we yeah, never really, I, I never really bothered, would... yeah, I never really so... bothered you to do anything, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate that, too. <laughs> I figured, well, you know, we got it, you know, I mean, or we should have it, you know, but sometimes yeah. it's nice to have a little help with from your team. That's why you I bet. haven't really been too picky about too many things. I just, you know, let it kind of flow like a bottle of wine, kind of like, you know, kind of. And last okay. week you were mad about me being late, and then everybody's I late. Was, no, I was. I oh was, yeah, you guys are like. I can't really farm if they're late. I mean. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was saying I was not going to give a bad time about that. Have I ever fired anybody? I haven't fired. Nobody. I don't know. I mean, nobody's been fired. When I say we trimmed the fat, it could come back sometime too. The the invite is always welcome back. You know, if somebody wants to come back, a certain person wants to come back and be part of our show. She's more than welcome to come back, you know. But you know, she hasn't uh, she hasn't uh, accepted the invite yet. So you know, that's just how it goes. So until she does, that's just. Is, that's just is it, she still know? doing her own show now? Oh yeah! Oh absolutely! But I just Sunday's week, not great for me. But... Last week she said she you know she misses us little farts or whatever. So it's just like well, come uh -huh. back then, you know. Don't, don't be a stranger. Stop being a stranger. You've been a stranger she's long pretty enough. Busy. She's I pretty busy. She's pretty busy. I don't think she's that busy. Oh. I don't she's think the, she's... No. Got, no. She's got the restaurant. Yeah. yeah Why don't you set up an interview with her? There you go. Why do I need to set up an interview with her? Well, talk to her about her show and talk to her about, you know, how it's going and little bobbies and... If like I want if I want to do that, I just go all over the Macintosh, which is ten minutes away, and go see her right now if I wanted to. Yeah, but it, it, it would like promote her, and then she can have us on her show. She should put all of us on her show. Well, I suggested that she would do something like that. She said the only she only does talks to musicians, so that's what she said. I, well, I she made a remark one time, but uh, you know she liked our show, but it was a lot about cars and wrestling and this. Yeah. And, you know she likes the music, and which is fine. I mean, you, you know, don't have, yeah, you don't have to like everything about what you know what we have on. I mean, I, I, the whole idea of having a guest on or just or whatever we do is just to, we're just having fun mostly. We're not we're not just we're well, we're trying to treat it serious like a serious podcast. But I mean, every week is different. I would say Are we live right now or no? Yeah, I'm getting the live. I'm getting the live going here while we're talking here because uh, just getting it all. I'll send you guys a link here. Oh yeah, a live link would be nice. <laughs> yeah, send it to my a... send it to Sam Roach too, if you don't mind. Okay, I'll do that, and I'll I'll make sure that it's not sent on uh, private or whatever this time. Because man, I tell you, I don't know why it does that. It doesn't do that for every post, by the way. It just does that, uh, uh, just here and there, you know. Okay, California. Okay, Esther is fine. Let's see. Hold on here. Okay, followers are like. Save that here. <laughs> okay, I'll send you guys a link now. 
Where's John Clan Van Dam at? Ah, uh, he should be coming. He was trying to get in earlier. Arm. Okay, Renegade Radio staff go here. And big bang boom. There you go. All that there. So, yeah, two minutes to six, but we'll we can start here now if you want. It's not a big deal. <clears throat> All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Renegade Radio season. Through, or yeah, season three, episode number five for this uh, Monday, July 29th, 2024. I'm your host with the most, Frankie Slauson, and uh, we'll, we have uh, Mad Dog with us, Antique Man, Howdy. and Scream yeah, Jam. So it's good a, to be here. It's always a it's always a mix of a uh, cast of characters. You, know, you never know who's going to be here, and even you know when you do know who's going to be here, it's just kind of you know it's just a who's who. That's one that's one of the reasons why, like I always say, why we have extra people because if somebody can't show up, then somebody else will, you know. There'll always be somebody at least. So what's going on everybody? Hope uh, hope all you guys are doing okay and everybody out there in the uh, Facebook land and YouTube land and out there watching on the Grand Forks Best Source uh, for our Saturday replay anyway. Uh eventually I will be getting the numbers here for the entire month of July after this week. Uh just to kind of see where we, how we did, and whatnot for every episode that we've done, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's everything's looking looking pretty good. Uh, tonight we have our special guest, uh, one more blues man, at least for the time being. To as we're kind of celebrating the, uh, well, I guess it'll be the 29th anniversary of the Fargo Blues Fest coming up here next weekend. Uh, in Fargo, uh, we got uh, California blues man Stephen Taylor, and he's uh, going to be talking to us about his album called Spark. And it's the fourth time that he'll have been on my show, first time on our podcast. But he's somebody who I've had the chance to ta- uh, befriend and talk to a few times. Pretty much every time he's had a new album come out, you know, is what I've always had him on the show to promote, you know, just whatever the album was about. And he kind of comes from a little bit of uh, music, uh, music royalty a little bit. Uh, his dad, well, I, I mean, you obviously you guys have all heard of the Jimmy Buffett, right? You know, obviously Jimmy Buffett. Yeah. Uh, everybody loves that. Well, he, his dad was part of Jimmy Buffett's band back in the day. Uh, like, if you've ever heard of a guy named, uh, uh, let's see, Finger, or I think it was like Fingers Taylor, Greg Fingers Taylor. Does that sound familiar at all? A deep man at all for harmonica? It's a harmonica player. Hmm. Anyway, uh, uh, well, that that's that's his real father, or the, or the late great figure Taylor, who he passed away back in November. Uh, but then his stepdad is uh, Kim Wilson of the uh, Fabulous Thunderbirds. Oh uh, yeah, you guys have heard of Fabulous Thunderbirds before? Yes. Okay. Yes, so, actually. So he kind of comes from some some uh, music royalty and blues has kind of been kind of his uh, forte and he's a young man you know just in his like late or mid twenties I would say uh, and all he really does for a living is he just rocks out you know just just uh, plays blues play uh, plays all over California he gets lots of friends in the industry and he's oh. it's, uh, it's a lot of fun his music and then when I first heard his music I I thought his style was similar to Richie Valens, kind of. Which oh, is okay. Unique. So, the bomb. yeah, and it's not. I mean, his his music is not Latin or anything. It just has that kind of that that feel to it. Like it feels like it's something that you'd hear from Richie Valens, mm-hmm. kind of. So, if you love Richie Valens, you'll definitely love Stephen Taylor. <laughs> so, I play the blues. Got <laughs> <laughs> like oh. the ice truck. <laughs> yeah. you hear that oh yeah yeah actually, I actually heard that pretty good thank you very much I've been yeah. practicing all week well, it made me want to cry <laughs> <laughs> it made me think of oh this is our big old uh, big old hillbilly uh, party here you know just so you know what night yeah there you are, I fuck something up when the computer needs to be brought in again yeah you just John just texted me here I want to say I had a Dan O'Keefe who's watching the show tonight. How you hey, doing, Keith? Danny, how you doing, brother? Yeah. yeah. Hey, greetings. 
good to hear from him. He actually asked me if we were doing the show tonight. Yeah, he asked me too. He asked yeah. all of us. Yeah, like, absolutely. I That's a dedicated from... guy right there, man. How, how how has he been as far as, you know, from the update from what you told yeah. us a long time ago? Still needs our prayers, you know, always. His son's, I think his son's back out of the hospital, right, Dan? Okay, so he didn't, so he didn't die at all. No, 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 no. His son did not okay, die. Okay. His, his best remember... friend did. Oh, okay. Okay. I might have got the story mixed up. Then. Yeah. Because I thought his son. Well, he was really upset. And, you know. Okay. Well, yeah. Call, I mean... Dan, call me sometime, Danny Manny. Hmm. You got my number? I used to work with Dan years ago. He's a good dude. Yeah, well, you guys said you guys know, know him pretty well, and at least from not just from the show, but from what you guys have done before and, and whatnot. So, anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, today's just been kind of, uh, you know, there's not much been going on, but uh, boy, I tell you, during the week, anyway, it seems like, uh, you know, what's uh, what's more controversial than the than the Olympics? I guess, huh? We can talk about that a little bit if you want, you know. I hate the Olympics. I never watched them in my life. <laughs> well, I mean, don't you have a favorite sport or anything you you would love to, you know, like you know, swimming? Yeah, like doggy style, but I don't know if that's on the oh. Olympics. Oh, that's no, they don't have it's official sport. That's why, you know, we don't, don't like sports. Do they have pole grabbing or something like that or something to do with poles? <laughs> they have pole dancing. Pole dancing. <laughs> I know if Sam has his own Olympics, that he'd make it so filthy and everything, you know. <clears throat> <laughs> I had my Olympics every year of my show. Oh yeah, what kind yeah, of Olympics? I can't, did you I have? can't talk about it though. Oh, that's right, because copyright, right? You know, don't want to infringe on. No, not copyright. <laughs> it's just just clean show. I don't want to. Oh yeah, this family show. That's right. Family that's entertainment. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Well, the one thing I do want to talk about is is uh, uh, they also had uh, Comic Con this weekend, San Diego Comic Con. I have yet to ever go. I would love to go one time because that's like a pop culture dream right there. You know, they have all these different conventions and stuff. I mean, have you guys ever gone to any conventions at all for anything before? Anything? No, uh, I've never been to none of them like Comic Cons or nothing. Uh. They don't have stuff. In I'd like first? to go. I've been I've been to the Comic Con stuff down in Florida. Okay. And what yeah, was that experience? Uh, what was porn, wasn't it? Okay. I'll go for everything. Yeah, but I mean, there, I'm sure there was some uh, non porn. What, what is too. the one like the horror movies and stuff like that? Or they have a, um. Oh. The, oh, I I've been to that movie. one. Okay, there, there's a few like that or whatever. Like, yeah. But there's like scream horror scream something like that or... i met some actors that played in some movies you know oh, maybe. okay did you know who they were as far as like i can't kind of... remember but we used to interview all of them you know in my show okay so like you... i got i probably got over millions of dollars worth of content out there yeah. that nobody's sharing nobody's doing anything it's just sitting in my buddy's house down in florida and yeah. i'm sitting on a bunch of stuff here if i could have someone if anybody out there wants that uh, lives in ohio wants to help me we can make a lot of money with the content I have. I mean, run my website, put some stuff on for me. We can make money. Well, if you know the secret of doing that, then tell me the secret of doing it for this soon. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to know that too. Do we need a marketer or something or someone to market for us? <laughs> I don't know. I'm looking for someone to just, uh, you know, to help me out with, um, with, with my email. website, especially. I can't even... Yeah. I can't. I, I don't know how to run it. I mean, I took over it. And I don't know how to run it. Well, I. I mean, I'm sure that can be. Easy. And then um, my the, the producer he had everything on um, I told you that last time. I think he had everything on um, so much stuff on YouTube, and he took it all down and it erased yeah. everything from Facebook and everything. And I do have copies of all of it, but I put my CD in or DVD in, and I can't download it. Remember, I talked to you about that. Uh huh. Sean? Uh -huh. Yep, yep, yep. I don't know how to download it because I think it's on D DVDs that you can't do that to. Well, it depends on if it's uh, like I was telling you from before when you did ask that. I do remember that now because uh, it depends on if it's on a hard drive, if it's like a, on a certain hard on drive. Disc. Well, that, that too, though. If it's on disc, and uh, but it's like like an actual like MP4 or whatever, and it hasn't been like driven like in the in, in the file like of a 
like a like a DVD file or whatever. Yeah, you should be able to copy and paste the, the file from your <clears throat> drive to the hard drive, and then you know whatever you know. Right, right. But if it's already been burnt on there, I don't know if you can take that file that's already been put on there on the disc disc. And uh, I like to just put like some of the shows I got don't have to be the porn all the time. It's shows right. we had the comedians, we had you know. Do you like, not we had, have um, a, do singers? You not have, do you not have like a DVD burner or anything like that, or like a? No, uh, I got. I might have to get one because I. I like to start putting some stuff out there, man. I really would like to push it. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm, and I'm the kind of guy. If we made it, I tell my producer, "Hey, we we made it. You want to come in? We're in." You know what I mean? I sure. wouldn't do that. Well, maybe we, you and I should talk about that. I mean, seriously, because I, you know, I think I could definitely help you with all that stuff. You don't need to hire some rich asshole that's that's going to tell you everything, or, you know, tell, and make you miserable. You know, right? Not tell you what you should know. Because I know a lot of stuff about that stuff. I would say. So, what do you have a porn on that phone? No, I I was just every time I get a beep, you know, it's just from John, you know, John Roberts. Yeah, see, look, I got I have issues. I got two with phones his... right here. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> and they're all probably nice iPhones, probably, huh? <laughs> I guess, yeah, I guess or Androids so. or whatever. not iPhones, no. Oh, okay. Androids. I... Good, good. Cause the iPhone. I have one for Sam Lutz and I have one for John Lutz. I share it all the time. So, so I have more people on Sam Lutz than I do John Lutz. So, yeah. Try to get the yeah. people to watch the show. Sure. Well, I mean, I, I haven't really, uh, I mean, I was thinking about some fun segments that we could, if we could do. Uh, uh, I'm just trying to figure out, like, you know, what segments you guys want to do because I don't want to be pushy about it, but I just figure, you know, give us, give our show a little bit of format. And I'm sure. With everything that you guys do, especially for the oh, summertime, geez. you know, you could figure out something to talk about. That's that's something you want to talk about. That's your own little. little it would be cool for the anniversary if you don't get a guess. I mean, if we, we we'll probably get a guess. If I have to pull Bill up, we'll do Bill again. But what we should do is maybe talk about what our year was like on the show, and if, maybe we we'll get we'll we'll push it so much in a week that we'll get new viewers, and we could tell them like. I, it's like I don't like when you when customers come on. I mean, I'm not saying this. I don't like it, but when we have to tell them who we are and what we do, it'd be cool if you just said uh, we have all our guys are in the in the, um and screaming Sam does this. Tony, does, you know, Mad Dog does that. Eric's the singer. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you mean like, have me introduce you guys? Introduce everybody like that because oh, it's right. a it takes a lot of the show too for us to talk about what we do. I mean, well. You notice I haven't really been doing having you do that at no, all. No, we have. I know, I know, I know. I like it. <laughs> I kind of just let that kind of slip out of the wayside because I figure, well, but you can introduce us. But I mean, for one year anniversary, yeah. we're all original. We're all original people from a year ago. So sure, we should just talk about our journeys and you know, I mean, the journey we had with you and you know, well, stuff like that. This this whole show's been a journey. You know, I mean, it, it's been. Because, you know, we've had some really good shows. We've had some shows that just kind of, you know, are what they are or whatever. But they're still important. Every every episode matters. I'm happy right, that, right, right, you know, right. I'm happy that you guys have stuck with me as long as you have. And not, not thought about leaving, too, you know. Because I always, I always bring that up a lot because I just figure, well, we don't talk a lot during the week. So I don't know what you guys are, you know, thinking about during the week. Not that I need to know what you're thinking about during the week. But just like, you know. I, well, I, Dan I, I said we're, we're a crew that makes him laugh. Oh well, that's good. You know, <laughs> I'm sure last week with our jokes that we had, uh, 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 I'm sure he he would have really found that funny or cringy or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I was late. That I was late for that show, but it still lasts another hour and a half. Yeah, well, you see, well, Michael, the the interview with Michael Carbone was pretty good. I didn't know the guy, so I didn't know what he sounded like. Other than hearing him play drums and stuff, I didn't know what he really sounded like, and and then what he like. I didn't know he owned a. A, a music store and everything. So ain't that crazy? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's it's a good, good show. show. It's a good show. Yeah, I mean, and uh, and what do you guys think about having Lance on board? You think he's a? I think good... Lance is fantastic. I like Lance a I mean, lot. I know we're saying this because you're on on, on, on T, uh, live now. Or no, no, no. I'm not saying because we're live. <laughs> I always like Lance. Remember, yeah. you remember his show? I says he was one of the most interesting people we talked to. I mean, he doesn't drag things out. He talks, you know, I mean, Drake yeah. there with things and. I think he's fantastic. I love him. Well, see, we were trying to get a podcast going with him and his dad, and if he ever does ask me uh, to to help him with that, uh, I will definitely help him because that's an honor in, in his own right. Because you know his father's a, a legend in the in the Hollywood world, as we all know. 
And it's like, uh, you know, it, it'd be a great opportunity. But his dad, you know, kind of gets a little forgetful sometimes as far as like uh, <laughs> what he what he has agreed to do because he's asked Linus to help him with some interviews like he did with you know with us or, or whatever. But then sometimes he forgets that he's asked Linus that, and he just does the interview himself, and and it goes. Is that the interview you and John did? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> And that was a fun interview. I, yeah, I, w I would have loved for everybody to be part of that, but I just was like, you know, Lance didn't know everybody at the time, and he loves all of you guys. I mean, it's, that's just the thing. It's like, you know, I he's, think always gonna, cool. he's always going to have something positive to say about people because he that's the way he was brought up. You know, he was brought up to to be raised, you know, to treat people with respect no matter who you are or whatever, you know. doesn't matter about his Hollywood time or music time or whatever. It's he, He's one of those people, and his, and his dad is one of those people that, you know, because of the conventions and stuff, and I think that's where a lot of people, when you're a celebrity, if you are humble by any means, you learn that really quickly when you agree to go to these uh, conventions and not just get money for autograph signings and whatever. Right. You know, because some, some people <clears throat> are all in it just for the money, and that's all they care about. And then, <clears throat> and then there's some that just like, you know what, I really want to get to know my fans, you know. I really want to get to know these people that are willing to come all this way just to see me like Hulk Hogan. I don't care what your thought is about him. I know we brought him up a lot, you know, this whole month because of everything he's been doing, but I love Hulk Hogan. I always have loved Hulk Hogan. Did you hear him at the RNC? Oh yeah. I, you know, and that doesn't, I mean, I, I doesn't change my view politically. No, or whatever. Oh, no I'm, I love him even more. I mean, that just makes me feel happy that the guy's standing behind what he has always believed in. It's not just a tagline. Oh, be a real American or whatever. It's like a real thing. Like, this is what he's doing. He's living the American way. You know, he's had a lot of, his life's been kind of fucked up too, you know, in a lot of ways. He, he almost committed suicide many years ago. A lot of people don't realize that. Or don't Why don't we try to get him on the show? Oh, God. <laughs> I think I mean, you could do it. I think you could do it. I'm telling you, reach out to him. He seems I, like I, you, you, you reach out to him. You lived in Tampa. I went to his restaurant a few times. I mean, okay. I never seen him there, but. His restaurant's pretty cool, man. All the stuff in there with the bottom and the beach, beach bar or whatever it is. Or oh, yeah, yeah, that was beautiful. We went to uh, we had uh, her work had her thing down there, and I'll tell you what, we had a blast. And nobody asked you for an autograph when I was thinking that you were Sam Kinison at all. I mean, every, everyone talked about it when I was down there. I mean, me and my wife couldn't go nowhere without someone saying. I think Hogan. Now, when I go to Ohio, him. nobody says nothing because yeah. I'm I'm known as John down down Florida. I was Sam or screaming Sam down Florida. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pittsburgh, I was John because I did my tow truck company and stuff like that. But um, yeah, up in Ohio, there's only a few people who know what I did. And... I'm just surprised because you know, because uh, I'm sure Hogan would probably remember Sam Kinison. Yeah, I met. <laughs> you know, who I met in person the Big Show. Oh, Paul this White, guy. Huh? This guy dropped the trailer off at my U-Haul dealership, and he was a real big dude. And he's a wrestler. And he says, "Yeah, I wrestle." And I said, "Really? I, I forget his name, but it was a, a like a black dude, like not real dark. It was like a light." skin black yeah and we just start talking and stuff and he said yeah I, I wrestle with um the big show I'm, I'm staying with him i go no way so one day i'm pumping gas in my car and who's sitting behind me is big show okay so they told he told me to come here so i walked over to the car and he goes man you look like sam kennison i went yeah i met and his buddy goes yeah i met he owns a u-haul you know <laughs> and we start talking i gave him a card he goes dude how much will you charge to do a show at my at my house he lived in odessa right near me yeah 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 and um, I told him, I said, well, I'd do it for free for you. Here, someone said that was the biggest mis mistake to take to do because, you know, they're probably thinking if he's doing it for free, he, he ain't no good. You know what I mean? That's oh, what yeah. someone say. I should have said some price or something. or Yeah. But then the other, another wrestler lived like like 10 houses away from me was, um, I forget his name now, but he was a big time wrestler. So you knew a lot of these big time people back in the day. Yeah, I lived in a pretty nice neighborhood down Florida. I mean, oh, there's wow. mansions down there, and, and that's I think you... mine might have been the shittiest house down there. And I had a pretty, I had a pretty house. <laughs> yeah, it was. Well, was your house the one that uh, uh, has uh, what, what was it? You had the you had the big yard, kind of like what you have now, but you all had cars around it all the time. Because I saw old videos. Front, that's my front yard. I used to stack the cars. Okay, the <laughs> okay. <laughs> my neighbors thought I was whacked. That's what it was. Okay, because I remember seeing some old video clips and some photos from your Facebook, you know. Yeah, uh, I had a built-in pool, jacuzzi built in. All, everything was heated. And you just I had a beautiful home. I, I missed that house. And you moved just because of your grandson. Yep. And now I wish I would have stayed because he don't even come around that much anymore. 
Well, could he even come to Florida and, and, and say, or is he, or is he too far from Florida and more closer to? Well, he told me, I says, Jace, if I move back to Florida, you'd be okay with that. He goes, yeah, pal, I'll come spend a summer with you. As long as you have a pool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. As long as you have a pool. We talked yeah. about it. We talked about it. <laughs> that's funny. I couldn't I afford to do it right now, man. I don't think I can, you know what I mean? It's oh. too expensive down there now. Well, has it always been expensive? I mean, but if you have the money, then you have the money. Everybody well, I made the money down there, so it didn't matter. Yeah. I don't make no money now. <laughs> Oh, there, there are people that help you out. They remember you. <laughs> yeah, I wish. It's okay to take a hand out once in a while. Or a hand job or whatever. You know. <laughs> Just kidding. I have one dirty joke in there anyway. Uh, but yeah, uh, uh, for me, I, I, I was pretty happy to find out. Well, I'm not a huge Marvel fan, but I do appreciate, you know, for what it is and the fact that they're giving us a lot of these movies, you know, now, you know, just to, for anybody who's ever you know was a fan of the comic book stuff, you know, I don't know if any of you guys were or not or whatever. Antique Man probably was, but has thousands of comic books, you know. Is no, <laughs> no, not at all. No, no Sean, we weren't nerds like you. <laughs> no, uh, like you. That's right, because all you guys have. I'm just vision. serious. Don't worry. Cloudy, about cloudy it. vision, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You like, say you I, just, I was more into Mad Magazine. Oh, me too. Oh, absolutely. I was, in, I was in the like uh, porn magazines. That's all I like. It's the Come truth. On. Come on. I Play love Play I love Playboy. And I love the, uh, what's the other one with uh, Play the Hustler. Guy? Huh? Hustler. <laughs> I love Hustler. So you read the articles, right? Oh yeah, sure. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Don't ask what they were about, but I read them. Read with your thick glasses and stuff. Like, oh, this is interesting. This is a recipe of how to make oatmeal. You know, from a, from a porn star. <laughs> well, <made Yeah>. oatmeal. <laughs> Supposed to add more cinnamon than spice. <laughs> Dan said he saw an antique man on on YouTube. Oh, oh I'm, yeah. sure. I'm sure he's done a lot of YouTube videos. Just you know, I got a few. Stuff. Yeah. Well, he's a few, it, Dan. He you also get hear him if you if you add him as a friend on Facebook. He uh he he sings on there too. He sings yeah, live. He's not live, cute. but you know, records yeah, it every once time. in a while. And he loves to do fun editing and stuff, you know. So much fun. Oh my god, he has <laughs> nothing to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, still uh, still my oyster. Yeah, always yeah. gets me something good. Always, yeah. He always yeah. gets Tony. <laughs> Oh, uh, I tell you, I, I don't know. But I, I, what I was going to say was, uh, I, I was you know, because of the Comic Con stuff going on, they were showing all this stuff on, on YouTube and whatever. And uh, good old Robert Downey Jr. is making his return as uh, Victor Von Doom, I guess, is the big story. I don't know. Does that interest anybody at all? You know, go from Iron Man from a good guy to a bad guy? Is that possible? <laughs> character? Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> That's right. Sam doesn't care. <laughs> it's like we're not talking about porn, you know. It's like nope, we can't, can't talk about anything else. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a whole lot, whole lot to run by because I didn't really plan much. Of, I was going to try to do like a, like a, do like a uh, a piece on tongue twisters because I think you know how exciting is tongue twisters. You guys are, are you guys a fan of tongue twisters at all? I think it's funny. All right. Well, then fine. I will. I'll, I'll, I'll load it up here and kind of. Go along with you guys because we should try I like to... they put the snakes on the golfer's back of their shirt and tell them there's a snake and they turn around and see the snake and they try to get away from it. Uh huh. It follows them. <laughs> I got a step behind. I tell you. That's you mean like rubber baby buggy bumpers? Well, yeah, yeah or, something like that. But yeah, or how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How about yeah. a box of biscuits, a box of mixed biscuits, and a biscuit mixer? <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking more like you know, and you're and you're and you're close. I mean, you know, I mean, there's you know, tell she sell down by the seashore. Yeah, yeah. But see, those are ones that that's everybody... not all she sold. <laughs> but that's you know, that's what everybody always comes up with, you know, or the Peter Piper peck, 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 peck. He, he pecked his um, brick, brick or whatever. Or he pricked his pecker or something. There's something like that in here. <laughs> but so you got some new this. ones. You got some younger ones. Well, well, I got some ones that you probably never heard of, and I just want. I'm to sure. Go, I just want to kind of go through a little bit and and uh, just to see if you guys uh, get a kick out of these. So, Buggy, rubber so, bugger. 
Well, like, you know, like these are some funny uh, tongue twisters, but are difficult to say and maybe a little dirty if you say them wrong. So, Uh oh. so, so I thought, well, let's let's see if you guys can let's see if we can do this anyway. So the first one is I slit the sheet, the sheet I slit, and on the slitted sheet I sit. I shit in my sheet. <laughs> yeah. I slit my sheet, my my sheet, my sheet. Uh. My I sit my sheet. My wife slit her slit, and what? she slit on the seat. <laughs> she. Oh boy! No, yeah. I I Next. slit I slit the sheet. The I slit sheet, the sheet. The sheet I slit. The sheet I slit. And on the slitted sheet I sit. And on the slitted sheet I sit. <laughs> <laughs> on the sheet I sit. <laughs> See, if you say it faster, then it sounds like you're saying other words. You know. Yeah, I know. You know, that's what makes it funny. So, okay, so let's see. Uh... Sean, did you ever hear the old one where you hold your tongue and say, I was born on a pirate ship? <laughs> you ever hear that one? No. I... Hold your tongue and try it. I was born. I was born on a pirate ship. I see. I get I was... you. I was good on a, born on a pile of ships. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I, I picked that one up pretty good. That's pretty Real good. fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I pile of shit there. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to find another one here because I got these all kind of, you know, all on a list here. Uh, how can a clam cram in a clean cream can? What? <laughs> what did you say? How can a clam cram in a clean cream can? How can a green crab crab in a green can? Well, how can or how can a clam cram in a clean cream can? How can a can cram in a green can can? Why are you say green for it? I thought you said green. How can a clam in a clam clam clean clam? Wow. How about this one? How about this one? Denise sees the fleece. Denise sees the fleas. At least Denise could sneeze and feed and freeze the fleas. Holy shit. Forget about that one. <laughs> <laughs> How do you expect us to say it? Well, I mean, yeah, I expect you to uh, you'll follow along, you know. There was that funny scene show. Okay. He's a sleaze <laughs> with his peas. He got on his knees. A clam on our clinics. And he landed on a tree. <laughs> Victoria. Wow, that's not even close at all. Jesus <laughs> Christ. How about this one? Santa's short suit shrunk. What? <laughs> Santa's short suit shrunk. Santa's short yeah. suit. Santa's See? short shrunk. Santa's short suit shrunk. Santa's short suit trunk. <laughs> well, shrunk. There's no trunk. 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 Santa's short trunk. <laughs> trunk. <laughs> Okay, how about Aunt that likes Donald Trump? I get it. Okay. That's right. All right. How about this one? This was a classic one that everybody should know. You know, it should be a simple, easy one, right? How about mm. Betty? How about Betty Butter had some butter, but she said that or this butter is bitter. If I bake this bitter butter, it would make my batter bitter. But a bit, bit of better butter, that would make my batter better. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Betty had a bitter butter. Yeah. Betty Butter had <laughs> butter. Butter. And she did her bitter butter with her butter, with the bitter. Betty's boobies were dipped in butter, but the butter got bitter from Betty's boobies. Uh, that's right, because that's what that's sure. like, you're totally correct. Dude. Yeah, I like porn. <laughs> yeah. How about this one? How about this one? This is a simple one you should know. Big Billy, who had a big belly, was also a big bully. Big belly, uh -huh. big Billy, who had a big belly, was also a big bully. Okay. See, big okay. Billy was a Billy, because his name is Billy. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, I mean, that's, yeah, that's, that's close. That was a good close one. enough. Yeah, see, you're getting better here, bud. Okay, how about this one? Two toads totally tired trying to trudge to Tedbury. Two toads totally trottle with a two ear <laughs> and a Twitter. <laughs> uh, I don't know where you get Twitter from, but okay, sure. Oh, man. Let's see. Yeah, we're trying to find a couple more here. I mean, are you learning anything at all? Oh, learn, yeah. 
Okay, perfect, perfect. I'll learn to make yourself look like an ass. Yeah, it's well, pretty good. Ronnie's brown, he ain't a clown. <laughs> brown can be. Okay, here's here's some that are a tad rude but funny. Okay. I am not the pheasant or I am not the pheasant plucker. I am the pheasant's plucker's mate. I am only oh, plucking no, no, pheasants no. because the pheasant plucker's late. Damn thing sounds going with antique man's trying to write the shit down while you're talking. <laughs> Oh, so you're Wait, talking, no, I that's just, all right. That's all right. I, I just made one up. Okay, okay what about you guys? Yeah. Sam sang some songs with thongs on. Sam sang some songs with thongs on. There you go. There you go. Wow, see that is that's that's pretty easy for you. That's, that's a good one. That was a, that's a good homemade one. Yeah, and then there's the old one, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Yeah, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Yeah, oh boy. How about, how about this one? How about this? For a song, sing a song in a tongue, that would be <laughs> bad. If I had a song to sing. Yeah. How about the oh, classic? we could go on and on. How about the classic, one smart fellow, he felt smart. Two smart fellows, they felt smart. Three smart <laughs> fellows, they all felt smart. How about one that one? Fellow felt smart. The two smart fellows small fart. I don't know. And then that the three one. smart fellows. <laughs> yeah, they all smell fart. I'm, I'm, right? I'm a smart feller. That's right. That's right. And then we'll do one more here. Just this is to end it here. I am oh, not darn. the I'm not, I'm not the fig plucker, nor the fig plucker's son, but I'll pluck figs till the fig <laughs> plucker comes. <laughs> oh, uh, shit. you know where that's going. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll just shut it. up. Yeah, that's that right. Funny. So there you go. There's some uh, tongue pushes for you. See, that's a segment right there. Now, can you do huh. that, everybody? Can you can we do the segment? <laughs> yeah, it's easy. And I just kind of improvise along the way. I'm a plate plucker, son, <laughs> with a big plucker on. I mean, how about the audience? How about the yeah. live audience out there? You know, anybody know some good tongue twisters? I'm sure you should. We got a highly educated audience out there. I bet you. Yes, there's a box of biscuits, a box of mixed biscuits, and a biscuit mixer. That's a good one. <laughs> oh, see, there you go. See, your brother could be a teacher. A box of biscuits, a box of mixed biscuits, and a biscuit mixer. <laughs> not, a, not a biscuit mixer. A biscuit mixer. Mixer. Biscuit mixer. <laughs> It's not a biscuit mixer. It's a biscuit mixer. Mix a biscuit. <laughs> you didn't think we'd come up with something so clever, huh? <laughs> Way too clever. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I've been going up. Johnny sold seashells down by the seashore. Yeah, but that right. everybody, everybody says that stuff. I, I was just trying to come up with something that nobody ever heard. You know, we're good. Yeah. You did a good job. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. That was very good. So that's called a segment, ladies and gentlemen. That's how that works, you know. You, yeah. you talk about something, and <laughs> hopefully John, it works. Very, we thought on that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then you let people... Uh, very very you let, quick. Yeah, you let people, uh, you know, take part if they want to. Donnie you know, sells seashores on by the seashore. <laughs> With a box of biscuits and a biscuit mixer. <laughs> well, anyway, so... Other than all that, I mean, uh, uh, I'm looking forward to uh, the month of August with the uh, one year anniversary show. I think, uh, well, I'm, I'm surprised that it's come so quickly, but it hasn't come that quickly. It's just, it's just nice that uh, we're getting so close and everything. You know, it's like I can't believe it. After everything that we've, you know, after everything that we've accomplished and done and everything, and you figure everybody would be sick of us, but no, they want more. They they keep saying they want more. Sick people. Yeah, far far <laughs> from done. <laughs> I mean, right. Sam, when you when you when you and I first started this, I mean, you know, we didn't know where what direction it was going to go and and how it was going to work and everything, but we just figured, well, we'll you know, we'll, we'll just try something uh, and and see what happens. I guess. Right. Right. Oh, there he is. Jock tight. I mean, yeah. John, John Con Van Dam. Yeah. He's he's late this time. I can't believe it. <laughs> what's what's going on there, John? You were having some uh, some technical di difficulties there. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, we had some issues. 
Oh, um, that was the lost internet. We lost all our internet. They had to reboot everything. The house, our whole house. So yeah. we had oh. bad weather shut up yeah, the other night. We're, we're already in an iffy area here with all the full grown trees and where we are. But we had weather in the last week where we probably lost power three or four times. Uh -huh. yeah, so. And and so I don't know if that's got anything to do with or not. I think it keeps us but out of anyway. Steps to the house. Here we are. Here oh, I yeah. am. You yeah, miss out on my segment on tongue twisters there. How about a moose <laughs> might have been? <laughs> what? On what? I said a moose might have pissed on your fuse box. Your segment <laughs> on what? Ah, <laughs> uh, he's just I'm trying to narrow up. <laughs> well, we were doing some tongue twisters, and and I I found some tongue twisters that were kind of dirty a little bit. That was funny, you know. <laughs> You know, for, you missed for the for joint. Yeah, our internet still isn't our internet still isn't good. You guys, everybody's kind of choppy on me right now. Oh, so are you. Your Crap. picture's still choppy. Like like choppy choppy suey here. Well, our guests will be joining us in about a half an hour. Our internet. Blues band Steven Taylor. So I mean unless I see if he's available now, we can try to get him a little bit early. I'll try. Steven Taylor. I think it's getting better. You know what I thought you got at first? I thought you got uh, Steve Tyre from uh, <laughs> That's yeah, what I, you said to our new our Errol guest Smith. Steve Tyre. I'm like, "Jeez, yeah. oh man, we're really getting strong." Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> that's I mean, why I'm on the show now. I was going to take off. Oh yeah, whatever. You'd be here if we had uh, if we had uh, Grover from Sesame Street. Here, right? Yeah, but last week you and John talked shit on me because I was late. I know you two. I didn't talk shit on you. No. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, I told you that if you had if you had other things going on, then it's not a big deal. Honestly. You know, oh my god. Deal to me. And I'm to not me? gonna I'm not gonna talk shit either because I'm so computer illiterate. If it wouldn't have been for my wife here, I'd never I wouldn't even be on right now. So it ain't me. But the Steven Taylor, I I I knew more of I know who his dad was more than him. Um yeah. actually. Because he's played Played with some other bands. Well, he was with Jimmy Buffett forever. Yep. Fingers. Yeah. They yep, call yep. his old man Fingers. Yeah, yep, we were yep. talking about that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know if you guys knew knew him or not or whatnot. You know, or who you know that. Usually, when that, they don't have any. That's why it's funny. No, it's kind of weird. My, <clears throat> my um. I'm like blurry on my picture. I can see. You know what I mean, I was trying to. Yeah, you kind of are. Am I blurry? A little bit. A little bit. Okay. Would you? Did you, uh, Johnny, crack not on his screen? I have no idea. Let me let me look at you here just to see. Nah, that's Johnny. That ain't, oh, there you go. Oh, well, you should be fine. Oh, that's way better. Yeah, we can see you. Call the white. What's that called, John? The white envelope deal. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I don't know white el white elephants. <laughs> white envelope. <laughs> I learned that from my show. Doing the white, we had to do a white test every time we did the cameras. Oh, huh. interesting. Oh, interesting. I never knew that. I should. I wonder why we don't do that. We got like five cameras in our studio. He used to make me hold a white piece of paper up, and he, he would adjust the cam. The camera automatically adjusted the white for some reason. And but I don't know what oh. happened. I guess when I sit back, it, it like starts getting blurry. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's probably just the way the way it goes sometimes. I mean, I don't know. Antique man looks like you got a halo on top of his head. Because <laughs> he's Jesus, <laughs> you know. Yeah, you're right under the light. Yeah, crazy, huh? That's perfect. <laughs> That's that's perfect. a lie. <laughs> nah, that's <not> a lie. <laughs> No, I could be so lucky. <laughs> there, I'll get rid of it. Well, anyway, ever get a so... fly squatter, and then when you pull a squat, fly squatter out, there ain't no flies around. And as soon as you set it down, a fly lands on you. <laughs> oh, yeah. That just pisses Always. me off. I thought I'd bring it up. We ain't talking. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's uh, of course. My wife bought four fly squatters, and I can't get one fly. Jeez. Well, it's not had... a fly. Oh, yeah, biting. John, it's not a fly squatter. It's a fly swatter. What? 
It's You're not a vagina. Fight. It's a China. It's okay. <laughs> water. Actually, I've been practicing that, and I've been doing pretty good. I mean, I just, this is your president, Donald Trump. How are you doing, everybody? I'm glad to be on the show. <laughs> when I was at the fair, they said, Donald Duck. I looked to my right, and they shot my ear off. I mean, come on. It's a beautiful ear. <laughs> Yeah, it was a beautiful year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting better at it. Wow. I think. I, I didn't know you knew how to do impressions. Just, uh, I just don't. I'm just practicing every day. Oh, sure. Yeah, right in your bedroom. I, I was, uh, Saturday night, we were at a campfire with my family. And, uh, man, I was really on, on board with that. I, I think I did great. <laughs> Oh, not a talking. drink, not a drink in me, folks. Not a drink, not one drink. <laughs> Tell you, I don't drink. <laughs> yeah, but well, how about the other people around you? Was there drinks in them? Yeah, that's what I was fighting. That's a good <laughs> point, John. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, I was a two beer queer that night. You were probably looking pretty damn good, too. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Well, I mean, you know, that, that's that's the thing, you know. I mean, you guys, you know, have parties and stuff, and well, you know, I'm thinking you, about getting back into comedy, but not doing the Sam Kinison thing. Well, that'd just be weird. You'd have to change your whole personality then. You'd well, to, like, I, st I still got the name. Everybody pros. I'd still look like this, and people go, "You look like a Sam guy," <laughs> you know, just like. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm not. You know, I like those guys. I just want to. Uh, I, I could write my own little stuff material. I could probably do a strong five minutes, which is very tough. Very tough to do. Very tough. You know, if you, if you know what that's like, but um, I probably could get up and do five minutes of my own. Still use the name Screaming Sam. Don't scream out. Just make people laugh and yeah, talk about weird shit. Like right here, like like what you're doing right now, just on the show. You know, we seems like make each other laugh pretty easily, but you know, we're we're a pretty easy crowd, I'd say. Yeah, most. other people might be going, fuck this crime. Let's get getting off this show. This guy's <laughs> ain't <even> funny. <laughs> ah, it just, you know, it depends, you know. I mean, sometimes we are funny, sometimes we're not. Oh, we just lost John. Yeah, he's just having some connection issues. John had some problems. He had to leave. <laughs> yeah, his internet wasn't great again. His you know? internet wasn't great again, I'm telling you. He doesn't <laughs> listen to my show or it'd be great again. <laughs> internet great. <laughs> If you only believe it's in the power of Hulkamania. <laughs> that, that's a uh, great Minnesota people. <laughs> well, I mean, he lives out in the forest. I, I Like I told you before, I've been to his place. I know exactly what he's talking about. So he, he's very right about that. You know? Very, very right. So Let's yeah. talk about him. He's offline right now. Nobody can... <laughs> Yeah. He needs to believe in the power of Hulkamania and, and do the right thing. Eat his prayers, <laughs> drink his beer, you know, <laughs> say his vitamins. I mean, <laughs> John took a break already. He's five minutes on the show. He took a break. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. We've been five thirty. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would let my our guests know that uh, he can come in whenever he wants here. Just to... I would have told him that an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta get a feel for the show. You gotta get a feel for what it feels like, you know. <sighs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we come up is Steven Tyler. He's gonna sing for us. <laughs> okay. oh, so quiet now. So what did you do this weekend, guys? While Sean's trying to get our guest on, Eric, yeah, talk about yeah. Sure. Or no, I'm not an antique man. I meant. <laughs> oh, it's pretty exciting here. I finished staining the fence and putting a cap top on it, and uh, that's been my life all summer. Oh, really? Yeah, I'll send I, you a photo. I, I know Tony was up at this camp because we were over there. We were at the campfire. You never thanked Anthony for that knife you showed. You hear me? Uh, no. I'll get on right away after we're done here. Oh, I I sent you a picture of a knife also. It. Yeah, that was a nice picture. That was nice. That was a Western. Yeah, yeah. Uh, from New York. New York. New York, New York. New York, New York. New York. Yeah, but 
Is that where they make uh, what was that uh, salsa or whatever? New York City. <laughs> New York. New York. Oh, that, that, uh, hey, I, that ain't a knife. This is a knife. That's a knife. I can't see it. Oh, you keep fading in that. The knife you can't see the knife for you. And why is it when I show the knife I go out? Because of your background. If you have a plain background, you can see everything. That's a noise. You keep going out anyway. This is a noise. I can't get the background off. I don't know how to. Just press no. Okay. It doesn't bother us. Yeah, not at all. Not at no. all. Well, it's my brother. Well, no, you don't. Am I lying, guys? Does he fade out all the time? Does he fade out? Or oh do you God. fade out? Never mind. Well, I mean, he fades <laughs> out because of the background, because, you know, it's like... It's right, you do the same thing, Sean, once in a while, but you yeah, sit that's, still. That's, well, that's why I don't... sit still. Yeah, well, that's why I don't... I, I turn the thing off. Put I a Volkswagen well, behind you. <laughs> ah, there you go. I figure, well, yeah, see, I see what you're talking about. Like, you can see the knife, but only part of it. You see part I thought of that only right. worked on green stuff. That's why they kind of said you shouldn't wear green at all, but... Looks like black is like that too sometimes, you know, or whatever color. But I turned the background off. I, I figured, you know what, I'm gonna start doing it like this for a little while. That looks good. I like it better with the background again. And I got autographed pictures on the side. You know, the top one is the one that Lance gave me back in 2007. You know, or the 2006, because he was a boombox boy. And I have lots of autograph photos. John, can I sign? Can I send you an autograph picture? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. You know, I can send you my address. I, you put it up on a wall behind you? Absolutely, I would. Absolutely. I, I see that. I, I get a. I get that's a. That's a knife. I buy like a little frame for it and everything. It'd be an eight by ten, because that's what all these are. It'll be that picture I show all the time. Okay. I oh yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, just personalize yeah. something nice on there. You know. Don't say, uh, throw darts or not at it. Why, <laughs> why, why, why? And then Miss T wants me to send her one of my videos. I have to send you one too, but I will send you the video with the picture, Sean. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll give you my address here after the show's. Yeah, over. I got I got Miss T's address. I just have to send it to her. Who's sure. Miss T? Well, yeah, yeah. Who, who's oh, that? Mama T. My oh. show, we had a Miss T. <laughs> Miss T. Yeah, Miss we called her Miss T. Yeah. Well, I I have a picture of me with. Stormy Daniels falling back into my hands, and my hands are on her breast. It was to uh, totally caught off guard. Two of my other buddies and I, we were there. She was a dancer. And then uh, one of the guys hired nice. her to ha come over and take a picture. So we all stood in line. She's in front of us, and all of a sudden, she turns and falls back into my hands, and that's the picture that got taken. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. Scary waggles. Yeah. Needless to say, I don't share that with any women I know. <laughs> <laughs> One in I particular. Actually, I actually interviewed Stormy Daniels before all this stuff happened. Oh, she yeah. Had, like, her first CD come out or DVD. Yeah, she was pretty, she's good looking, but, you know. Yeah. She did her thing. All, all right for a white chick. <laughs> yeah, who looks at her eyes? That's right. And that, by the way, was in Fargo, North Dakota. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're like her hero for for a few seconds, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah, made my team, moment. Antique, <laughs> antique, where have you been all my life? You know, it's like, yeah, right. <laughs> it's like that's right. Uh, I wasn't <laughs> antique yet. Oh, no. I see. Sure. Okay. Sure. All right, you might have told us, but how'd you get an antique, man? Because you're old. Yeah, I just made it up because of that. Yeah. And uh, as, as a yeah, singer, I thought, not, well, not old. he likes antique and things. Thank you. But uh, yeah, I just thought antique man would stick better than using my full name. But did it? It's, it's, it's pretty common now, the antique man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, especially if you're in the antique business, man, I tell you. Holy moly. There you go. Yeah. I go by Bugsy. 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 Yeah. Bugs funny. <laughs> oh, you are yeah. a West, you are a West Philly Wabbit, I guess. <laughs> what's up? What's up, Doc? Yeah, or a horny hey, rabbit. Up? Probably a horny rabbit, probably. If I get a dog, we're gonna call him Bugsy. 
Oh, but you have a dog. You have a, I know, but if he ever goes, leaves us, but he's uh, he's not feeling very well. We need. We were supposed to go out yesterday to the casino, and yeah. he was so he was so sick that we stayed home. Wow. So oh, that's too bad. Did you ever care about dogs? Oh, you should, you should my wife cares about, about the dog. dog. I, I mean, I do. I care about him because he's been in my family for fucking eight years. <laughs> So yeah, oh, that's, yeah. I mean, that makes sense, dude. When I my dogs, because everybody knows I don't like animals and that. But my first dog had died. His name was her name was or his name I forget. Crystal. That's a girl's name, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, not anyway. not anymore. She dropped over and died. Right, and, and dude, it hit me hard because it was not wrong with her. She was chasing around the house. I went into the bathroom. My wife come in two seconds later. Dog died. Dog died. So I called my sister Jeannie, and I I was crying, and I says she's dead. And she goes, "Who, Marlene?" <laughs> <'Cause she> was, <laughs> they weren't expecting me to cry because of a dog. Yeah, she thought my wife died. Uh, I said, funny. "No, you asshole, the <laughs> dog." <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I take it pretty hard when a dog that when our dog died, and my son had a dog had a lump on his side. We had to watch him for a while. Yeah. I felt bad for that dog. I actually prayed for that dog because he had lumps on him so bad, so big. Uh, it was a big lump, let me tell you. So big. <laughs> we called him Lumpy, you know, just for short. I had to call Lumpy. <laughs> Lumpy, why is your lump so big? That's a tongue twister. Yeah, Lumpy yeah, yeah. had a big lump on a lump on our side. What the hell? That's too funny. That is too funny. Next week, I'll be better. <laughs> You're all going. Please don't come next week. <laughs> oh no, I we we love this. I love this. You know, it's because it's kind of funny. You know, because to do the Donald Trump, you don't really have to try that hard. So you can just be like, like you know, I love orange juice. You know, orange juice is the greatest. You know? Orange juice. Yep. Orange juice. <laughs> yeah, I love running game radio. Let me tell you, it's the yeah. best radio station out there. That's screaming Sam. I tell you, God damn, I tell you. <laughs> Dan said he listened to the Grand Forks. Um, I turned the Grand Forks John show a couple of times. He said good stuff. Yeah, they have real good stuff at Grand Forks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I wish I he was Grand on Forks. right now. I think I'm going to fire him when he comes on. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's right. That's You're right. fired. You're fired. But, yeah. <laughs> Because you don't believe in the power of Hulkamania anymore, just because he's my friend. You know? I'm sorry, <laughs> John, but you're not doing good today. I'm telling you. Yeah. Did you did you forget to wipe? <laughs> <laughs> I so have no like, other choice than to fire you. I, mean, I know what happened. He didn't he didn't pay the uh the, the, the squirrel that runs around the cage. <laughs> yeah. Fire him. yeah, you got eaten by uh a bull. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. If anything, you know, Donald Trump will, you know, will definitely be the most easiest to mock anyway. You know? No, it ain't. Uh, I want some credit here, buddy. When you're, when you're, when you're, when you've been saying, you know, when you've been doing your your stick, I've been trying to re kind of copy that, and I, in my head, <laughs> I feel like I've been able to to do that, but maybe it sounds differently on from what you. I want to hear it. <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I've, I've just pretty much just been copying what you've been saying and, and you know, kind of blend the voice a little bit, you know, like, <clears throat> like, like tuna fish, you know, I love tuna fish. You know? <laughs> it's my favorite thing. <laughs> yeah, you know, I love really... sushi. Yeah. Sushi's so good. <laughs> but I not like it. <laughs> it you can tuna guitar, but you can't tuna fish. That's right. <laughs> I love Mad Dog because he's the best brother ever. <laughs> Bad dog is a good guy. Let me tell you, he loves knives. I'm gonna shove a knife up his ass, but you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna turn him into shish kebab and call him shish kebabby someday. <laughs> they want to know what happened to John Roberts. Everybody, Dan wants well, to know what he's, to he's just been having internet problems. He's been texting me, let me know. So he's got the kids. He's in the bathroom. Yeah, um, yeah. Yep, he did. He ate too much. He drank too much fruit juice this morning. <laughs> Take the John's in the shitter. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you got the poopsie doopsies. 
That's it. This is great. I'll tell you what, man. I really like John. I mean, when he laughs at my my brother makes him laugh a lot. You know what I mean? John Robert. Oh yeah. You can see it. It's a it's a true laugh because my brother ain't funny. (laughs) Oh. oh. Anybody hear that? Yeah. Wow. He should be laughing at me. Oh, he does. Ah. He does. He's laughing at the inside. We all are. Inside and out. (laughs) <laughs> well anyway so yeah so we'll like I said we don't have any guests planned so far yet for next week but uh, if we don't have a guest it's fine I mean I'm not I'm gonna try to see what I can do too but we're gonna see what Eric can do right? Dude, like I said if we need somebody I could get Bill on and just yeah but I don't want to over over kill Bill you know what I mean like, kill I Bill to, yeah, I That's a movie. yeah I know I don't I don't, <clears throat> I don't want to kill the, the magic that is Bill Kinnison so to speak because I know he's our backup, you know, but he can't be our backup all the time. Then it's like we're not trying hard enough. You know? I'm no upset with that comedian. What's his name? Uh, remember, I was trying to get him. He's he's big time now. Um, oh shit! Oh, I know who you mean? The guy takes his shirt off for that. Yeah. Oh. I mean, uh, he's me, me and him, me and him talk all the time, and he, you know, when I was when he wasn't even that big, he yeah. loved what I did. He always, you know, he's in Pittsburgh this week. Well. I'm a little upset with him because I texted him. Unless he he hasn't looked at the messenger, okay? I guess he don't have messenger. I don't know. Well, I left the message on messenger. <clears throat> the best thing to do is just text him. If you have his number, just text him. Don't. I don't have his number. Messenger. Well, then you probably won't be able to get a hold of him because I don't think he had. You know, he's a guy. I don't think. I think he'd have somebody else answer his Facebook on messenger anyway because I highly doubt he'd, he'd be in control of his own. <laughs> He said Tony wasn't so funny when he smacked his knee at the cemetery. L O L. No, that was a ah, penis in the cemetery because it was so big. <laughs> when I hit my Dan, I, vote for me, Dan. I love you forever. I love yeah. you forever, Dan. <laughs> Dan believes the power of Hulkamania. <laughs> what, are, what do we win? I'm gonna get Hulkamania I'm shirts. About, I'm gonna wear one. <laughs> Dan is one of the Trump manias. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. <laughs> that's right. I told Hogan that if, uh, or I'm sorry, Terry, you know, Mr. Blair, if, uh, yeah. told, told him if we win, I'll dress up like Hulk Hogan, but it'll be Trump Hogan. <laughs> yeah. Him and Trump and Hogan as uh, Hogan as the vice, Trump as the. <laughs> He's a true patriot. All you have to do is learn how to dance like Trump did. <laughs> no, we want, we, want, we want Donald Trump to start doing the Hulk Hogan thing, you know, <laughs> coming out to real American and everything. Take it away, Anthony. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Is this too much? I think, man. I mean, you know. All right, I got, I'm much. ready to eat dinner, man. I'm starving. Well, we we're waiting for our guest here. He should be coming here pretty soon, hopefully. Anyway, I, I said you, know, you know. Is there anybody, any women out there doing impressions of Kamala yet? Oh my God, yes! I see a bunch of them out there doing her. But no one can do Trump like I can. I'm the best. I'm the best. Oh, Jesus. I'm getting better as the time goes. Let me tell you something. My uh, campaign is rolling. It's rolling. <laughs> what's this? Do him the best. He's in prison now for shooting that lady. Who, who shot who? What's his name? The one that used that prop gun and was real. Um, oh, yeah. The dude on Saturday Night Live, Trump. Darren oh, Foss, God. what does tofu and a dildo have in common? They're both meat substitutes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Sure. All right, Darren. I think you need All to go right. back to... Yeah, I hope I said, is that tofu? Tofu. 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 Yeah, tofu. 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 <laughs> I know what China is. I just do China's. Yeah. I love I love <laughs> China. I love, I, love, I love... We call it butt China. I've been to China. I've been to yeah. China. Yeah. <laughs> After all, I grabbed some pussy before. <laughs> grab, grab, no, just Such say a grab, beautiful you pussy. shouldn't huh? say grab some pussy. You just say gra- I grabbed some china. <laughs> I grabbed some china. It was great. It was a beautiful china. What's <laughs> better china than I ever seen in my life? <laughs> That's what Clinton said to Monica Lewinsky. I told you to blow my erection, not my election. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I wrote jokes about the uh, about Clinton and uh, Bill and um, Bush. 
Yeah. Because Bush was before Clinton, right? Or no, Clinton was in the office, then Bush. I says Bush yeah. replaced Clinton, who couldn't keep his that has couldn't keep his dick out of Bush, and then we get President Bush who couldn't keep his oh no. Who <laughs> had a wait, I'm, I fucked that joke up. I wrote it. I <laughs> fucking wrote it. I have to think about it. <laughs> we got we got President Bush who you replaced got President Clinton. Bush is named after um uh, and you got Clinton it, it beat Bush. Um, well, I wrote um, the joke. I wrote the joke. It's it's um we had a President Clinton who couldn't keep his dick out of Bush. Now we have Bush, who's vice president is who, who, forget it. I fucked that. I have to look that back in my notes. Yeah, <laughs> Dick you mean his uh, I wrote that joke ten Cheney. years ago. I wrote that joke over ten years ago. Yeah, vice president Dick Cheney, you mean. Uh, yeah, I know. The guy who would shoot everybody. Oh no, yeah. here's how it goes. We have a president Bush with a vice president dick. <laughs> and we had fucking Clinton who couldn't keep his dick out of Bush. That's it. There you go. Hey. Hey. Once allowed to steal that joke, it's mine. I wrote that 50 years ago, and I'm going to use it again. 50 years ago. Well, 10, well, 20. Well, it almost feels like 50 years ago, probably. Yeah. <laughs> you would have swallowed, not spit. <laughs> That's your production company there. You know, Mad Dog Productions. We swallow, we don't spit. Or we spit, we don't swallow. Well, we'll give him a couple minutes here, and if you don't show up, then uh, then we'll just end it because I did give him uh, all the we information. Can, so, we could tell more jokes. Oh I, well, I mean, I can tell more time really? twisters. So oh, no, <laughs> not necessary. <laughs> the one with the lipstick, the one that I told last week, that was just kind of something I heard somebody say online. So I thought, well, that's kind of funny. But I thought they were talking about actual lips at first, you know, and then I realized that. After a little bit, that they were not, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So I said, "Well, hey, that's family appropriate." Because <laughs> I told that one to my nephew, and he didn't understand. He didn't get it, which is, which is good because he's only twelve. You know? <laughs> Want to hear the other Clinton joke I wrote? Oh, please. Yeah. Well, when nine eleven hit, if Clint was in office, we'd all be in trouble because they'd be knocking on his door, going, "Clint, there's trouble in New York." Clint would be going, "I'm coming, I'm coming." <laughs> Uh, and he goes here. Let me wipe my dick off on your dress, motherfucker. Remember the dress, the blue dress yeah. that she saved. The she actually saved the come on. Famous dress. Famous. I don't remember that one. You don't remember that? Well, I, well, got that nails. I was like at the time. I was like, 50, like what, ten years old, eleven years old at the time. You know? Where, no, she she the dress, you been nailed. I didn't follow politics then, and I still really don't. But you know. I yeah, we would watch like CNN and stuff, you know, in school, but you know, never, never had to really. Yeah, he wiped his dick off on her dress. Yeah. And he goes, well, here's the dress he came <clears throat> off. Her. Yeah. DNA, <laughs> DNA. <clears throat> the famous blue cum dress. <clears throat> Excuse um, me, everybody. I got, I got COVID. Oh Jesus Christ! No, oh, yeah, who doesn't? Yeah, I got I got COVID. I got to drop out of the race. Liars. Yeah. <laughs> well, Trump, what Trump take? What did he say? You drank uh, rubbing alcohol or? No, that's just, oh, all of a sudden all my brothers against Trump. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, well, what are we gonna do? We gotta figure out how we're gonna do like an election special and stuff when when it gets close to election time. I mean, we I, might have to do that before we uh, before we take our our second break. I'm gonna get a Trump mask and I'm gonna wear it when I do my Trump impression. <laughs> We're gonna do like a debate. Yeah, there you go. It'll Somebody needs to get a someone needs to get a Biden mask or how um, it'll be the first ever renegade radio call Kamala, whatever her freaking name. It'll be is. the first ever renegade radio masturbate, you know, debate. That's it, the masturbation. The, the master debate. Yeah, Dan said Fetterman and Biden got they got COVID together. <laughs> Wonder what the fuck they were doing. <laughs> that Fetterman is the creepiest looking dude I've ever seen in my life. I'm sorry. You know who Fetterman is, right? No. That's the He's Pennsylvania Senate. Pittsburgh. Okay. He's a Pittsburgher. Oh, he likes burgers. Oh, well, that's good. <sighs> well, it's 701 right now, so I don't know. 701. I'm going to have to end the show <laughs> soon if our guests don't come on. Yeah. Well, I yeah maybe you got the time zone mixed up or something. We yeah, got Kamala is. coming on. We know we have, she's probably well, late. She's probably laughing her ass off. Hey. Trump, maybe he's loading his AR-15. You better duck. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Duck. Quack, quack. Yeah. That's what no, he I said. I don't know what's going on. 
have to That's what it I said out. before, remember? Yeah. It's Donald Dunk Doc or Don <laughs> <laughs> Quack Quack. <laughs> the I'm really yelling, Donald Duck. Donald <laughs> Duck. And I'm like, where's Donald Duck? Turn my head and <laughs> <my> shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Donald Duck, where's the <laughs> John? Where's that duck? <laughs> it'd be like it'd be like Ron, or Donald Trump said the duck said the duck goes quack. <laughs> the cow goes moo. Shut <laughs> off. <laughs> well, I think hey, I think hey, we'll just try to listen to me. Even what? if we did that, even the guests don't come on. I had more fun doing this than I did. <laughs> yeah, it's a good well, time. Yeah, I mean, we've we've had a lot of guest time this this month already. I mean, if all goes to worse, we'll just wow. we'll just reschedule. I mean, it's uh, it's a nice thing about the show. It doesn't have to be if something doesn't work, we can always fix it later. You know. Yeah, but we're freestyling. I like that, man. When I see John and I see Lance, I'm gonna go. You're fired. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Because you stop believing in the power of Hulkamania and, and Trumpamania. <laughs> Turn off, John. Come on and go. Yeah. What you gonna do if you drink my beer and eat your prayers and say your vitamins? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think we'll just end it like that. I think tonight, uh, just because we've been on now for over an hour, and so short show tonight. But uh, if we get Stephen uh, on again, we'll we'll reschedule. I'm sure something probably came up or whatever. I mean, it's not normally not like this when we don't have a guest, but it's nice to freestyle like you're talking about and, and improvise and you know. I guess around. Steve Totter had a tour to go on and he yeah, ain't on today, go back on Ale Smith or whatever, right? Well, yeah, dream on, <laughs> baby, dream yeah. on. Yeah. I'm Johnny, I'm have Johnny talking like Trump all night, yeah. and having you do your tongue twisters and Johnny doing it as Trump. <laughs> well, Donald, well, you Trump, guys be safe. Donald Trump sat on a stump. I, love you, I think we should clear the board because the antique man's too old to be on our show. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he raised the, he eliminated the fast. You know. <laughs> on me. Don't put nothing stupid on me, huh? All right, all right. <laughs> I got a wig and tits or something. Like yeah. All right, everybody. This has been Frankie Sauce and along with Antique Man, Scream Sam, and Mad Dog, and a little bit of John hey, Roberts, you know. Hit my music! Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but we'll see you guys uh, next you week. Dare. And, uh, and don't forget, Sam one, huh? in, in a couple of weeks, we'll be doing our one-year anniversary show, so that'll be something special. So that'll be good. All right. All until right, then, buddy. we'll see you next time for Renegade Radio. Bye-bye. Later. Later.